What is up guys, William here from fitnessforbackpain.com where I teach you how to overcome chronic back pain by mastering your mindset, improving your movements, and building smart strength. Super pumped for this episode. I'm talking about all things shoes and low back pain. Yes, it is a deal. It is something that we have to kind of keep in mind when it comes to running, when we're just casually walking, when we're going about our day, is what we have our feet in. Because unfortunately, a big issue that you see is we kind of put so much weight or so much, honestly, literal money into our shoes, thinking that the more money we spend, the better quality of shoe that we're getting, therefore the better our body is gonna feel. And it's just not the case. So if you have always wondered, why is it when I wear these shoes compared to these shoes that my back gets irritated? We're gonna talk about that today and give you some examples and some options that you can go after when it comes to picking the right shoe for your sensitive back. So let's look at your typical, ordinary, run-of-the-mill running shoe or athletic shoe, right? I've got these shoes here, Reeboks. Uh, great looking shoe, and honestly, I've had these for a couple of years, and look how new they look. You wanna know why they look so new? Because I hardly ever wear them. If I'm gonna shoot a video, if I just wanna be out in the gym doing some exercise demos, I'll throw these on because they look good. But functionally, when it comes to how they feel on my, on my feet, the position of my body when I'm wearing them, going out to the mall or to the store, I'm not gonna wear these shoes. And there's a, a reason for that, and it's because of the heel lift. All shoes, all run all athletic shoes that are just just regular old shoes are gonna have some kind of pitch forward I'm just gonna make this more aggressive but inside of these shoes essentially they're doing this to your body even that small lift that heel being lifted is gonna pitch everything forward so your body upstream is gonna compensate for that if your shoe is pitching you forward naturally well then everything upstream has to try to fix, fix itself and if that's the case, odds are your low back is gonna be in some level of flexion throughout the day to compensate for what the shoe is doing. When you're in this realm of athletic shoe, whether it be running, whether it be all purpose, just natural athletic shoes, you're running into some issues. One issue is the what they're putting into the shoe to give you stability, right? They can they can put you on a, a heat panel and find out where your arch is, if you're flat feet, if you're if you have too high of an arch, and with that data, they can get you the best shoe for your specific foot. Now the problem with that is, is they highlight how it feels like you're running on clouds when it's super squishy, super supportive. You have a rigid sole, you have a looser sole, you have, you're able to squeeze the shoe or more, it's just more sturdy. All these different variables go into these shoes and when it comes to people who have sensitive low backs, all of that doesn't really matter. What matters is, is the position these shoes are putting your body in. Now you can lump pretty much all athletic or running shoes into the same category. They have a heel at the base whether they have cushion, arch support, lack of cushion, more cushion, too much cushion, built for stability versus built for function, like whatever. I'm not a running shoe expert. Now, let's look at a different type of shoe. Take this basic Vans. It's a flat shoe. The heel and the toe are the same size. This is a shoe that's gonna put the foot in more of a natural position right, which is what the body wants. The body wants to be in more of a natural position. The foot structure wants to use its muscles, its tendons, ligaments, and all the bones that are in there to give you that stability that you need, whether you have high arches, mid arches, no arches like me, flat as a duck. Your body is capable of creating its own stability. So don't rely on your shoe to do that. And these shoes here, this is an example of one shoe that's great for casual walking. It's more of a flat option. So you have another shoe, very similar to that one. These are my Nikes, love these shoes. These are another shoe that's a flat foot, right? There's no difference between where the, shoe, where the toe is at and the heel is at. Everything is flat. So let's break into a different category of shoe. These are what's called zero drop shoes, and these are super old, super beat up. Um, these are ultras, ultra running shoes, and these are actually built for running, trail hiking, or trail walking, whatever you may do. And they have a whole line of different types of shoes. I am by no means sponsored by Ultra, but I will definitely put a link to some options that you can get um, that I've worn in the past. So from the heel to the toe is the same level. You're flat. On top of that, they add in some different features that are awesome, that are that are more natural. It's a more of a natural way of walking, running, whatever you may be doing, and that's the toe box. So what you're looking at is how wide this toe box is, right? You take these shoes compared to these shoes, and there's a difference, right? You take these shoes and compare them to these shoes, 
and the toe box is different where these this toe box basically this area right here from here up this toe box it'll cram your toe up right your toes are going to go and squeeze into these shoes where with this toe box you have more room to spread out that is a factor that you want to look at when it comes to shoes and low back pain is how much of a natural position these shoes are allowing you to put your foot in how much control in your shoe do you have with your toes and your arch and your heel and the muscles in your feet this is a big difference compared to this, right? So there's another type of shoe, which is a little bit more aggressive. This is probably the most aggressive barefoot type of shoe that you can get in my opinion. And these are the toe shoes, right? I don't really wear these a whole lot anymore, but these are literally almost like rugged socks for your feet. If you have low back pain and you're trying to learn how to use your feet, how to build muscle and stability in your ankles and activate the toes and activate everything that's in your foot, to hold your upright, to stack your posture better, this type of shoe will do exactly that. Now, I will say that with one, one kind of hiccup. These types of shoes, when you're going almost barefoot, these type of shoes require attention to the way you're standing, to the way you're holding your foot, to the way you are walking, the way you're standing, the way you're using the muscles in your feet because there is no support, right? You buy these shoes like this, that have a, a, an, an insole in them and they have arch supports in them and Dr. Scholl's is all up in your feet. Those shoes don't have that. So you have to be mindful of how you're walking. So in my opinion, from my personal experience, if you want to learn to strengthen your foot, you're going to either going to go out inside and walk barefoot often as much as you can in the grass and use your toes and when you're in your your house working out train barefoot do not put shoes on use your toes grip the ground with your feet if you want to go outside of just walking around barefoot around your house this is a great option for you because again it's that zero drop feature where you're not having any kind of artificial arch or heel lift or anything weird you're sitting straight you're stacked neutral from your feet up. What you have to be mindful of again is the position of your foot. You have to be actively engaging your muscles, actively engaging the muscles up your leg to keep that foot in a good position. Because if you are like me and you have super flat feet, these are not gonna help you build strength in the feet unless you're actively thinking about what is going on downstream. How does all this look when it comes to low back pain? We, ultimately, if you are super, super sensitive, the goal for you is to get yourself in a better position. So the best shoe for you is will always be as flat as you can get it. You don't have to go minimalist. You don't have to go toe shoes like this. You don't have to do that. But if you can start looking at shoes differently, when you pick up a pair of shoes and you're like, you know, how does that look? How is my foot going to respond to that? I'll tell you right now, Nikes are are known for their crammed up toe. I have wide flat feet. So these shoes here, as awesome as they look, as sleek and minimalist as they look, my feet are uncomfortable in them because everything is super smushed. My toes are smushed. It's cramming the sides of my heel or my where my arch is and basically the sides of my feet. I don't I need room to spread out. So what happens with this is my foot naturally wants to be more of a natural position. When I put in tight shoes, my feet are like this. So how am I going to build structure in my feet with my feet looking like this? I want them to look like this right? I want them to be spread out. I want them to be able to activate and use all the muscles in the bottom of my feet and actually learn to use them correctly. So there are lots of brands you can go with. Ultra is one of them. I think Lem's Shoes is one of them. Vivo Barefoot Shoe. I'll link all the stuff in the description below. So that's it. That is my take on shoes when it comes to low back pain. This is, comes from my personal experience, from experience changing shoes up in clients and suggesting different things that have worked well for them question for you what is your best shoe that you have used in the past that gives you this more of a neutral foot position that builds that strength and endurance in the foot let me know in the comment section below if this is your first time here thanks for watching again make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you know when all the videos come out down the line